Welcome learners, it is time to learn something about animal drawing. The first thing is very important to know that there are differences between humans and animals. When you draw a human, it is mainly vertical, but in case of animals, they are horizontal because human being moves with two legs straight vertically while animals they moves with four legs horizontally. Thus, it is the animals that is very interesting to learn to draw. First thing about animals, how you will get an animal to draw? The common animals are around our surroundings are mostly pets or domestic animals like cows, buffaloes, cats and dogs. Those are easily available when you sit on your balcony or in a park, you can easily sketch them as much as you want. But for some specific animals you want to draw, you have to go to the zoological garden. You can find all kind of animals in a zoo. Tiger, lions, monkeys, anything if you want to know from even exotic like giraffe, zebra, kangaroo, etc. So, for drawing these exotic animals or special kind of animals that you love, you have to take the help of the books or internet. There are lot of books on animals with beautiful reproduction of their pictures. And here our artist is taking help of a book to find the beautiful image of Royal Bengal Tiger. To draw a Royal Bengal Tiger is a very, very delightful job. It's a it's an animal with a beautiful shape, beautiful colors and so vigorous and a lot of stamina and strength. When you draw an animal like a tiger, you must focus on the strength and power of the animal. Now our artist is taking help of a picture of Royal Bengal Tiger, which he is transferring in terms of watercolor on the paper. First, he has drawn the outline in simple way to have the structure of the figure of a tiger. After that, a flat color is given on the tiger to get the effect of the tiger's skin and in uh, where is standing on a, a grass field that also is done with color. Then gradually we will move to the next stage. Now one thing you remember, tiger is, a, is an animal with beautiful form and also beautiful colors. The stripes are almost regular and it gives the splendid beauty to the uh, skin of the tiger. And mostly the tigers are the yellowish reddish color and on that black stripes you can see. And here we will see the some part is left white like the uh, nose area mouth area you can see here and the belly part of the bottom is also left a little bit of white. It, it is an furry ed animals, not, not like other ed animal like elephant or other uh, there's uh, uh, farless animals. So the furry quality must be retained in your drawing by and that is trying to get. Now after the first coat of the uh, reddish yellow, he is putting brown on the skin to get the rotundity of the modeling 
of the form. This will give a kind of shading type of color that he gradually using in the different parts of the animal. You can see here in the hind, hind side of the tiger, then uh, in the middle of also the dark and then some part of the face is also dark. So, this will give you an idea of the skin of the tiger in the lower part and over that you will find the stripes will come very soon. You must notice how he is using the brush, the brush with 12 number he is using for spreading color and you do not forget that you take lot of colors in, in your brush and then spread it smoothly then you will find a very flat and interesting form of the color. So, you watch how he is using it and also you also uh, to try to use same way uh, when you paint a tiger or any other animal. You also notice that how he is mixing colors. He is not using only single color, he is taking red, yellow ochre and little bit of yellow from his palette and that is mixing on the palette and then using on the surface and little touch of the hair of the brush is getting the result of the shininess of the skin. The beauty of watercolor is little touch of colors here and there. That is the difference between oil color and poster color. The poster color you always try to give a smooth effect by using the brush, but in watercolor you just want to get an effect rather than the flatness of the color. Now, the artist is using a number 2 brush for the finishing of some part of the tiger and the grass uh, below his four legs. Animal drawing is one of the most favorite themes in art. Varieties of animals with varieties of structure, character and forms always interested the artists. There are some artists who dedicated all their art skill only to paint animals. But to begin with, you can use your pet as your model. If you have a pet cat or pet dog at home, you make lot of studies, lot of sketches, their ways of sitting, moving, eating, everything you can capture through sketches. Sketches are the only thing by which you will be very aware of the character, of the feature of a particular object or animals. Beside the cats and dogs, a little bit outside of metro cities, you will find lot of cows and buffaloes. They are the domestic animals of the common people in this area. You can go there, you can draw, you can capture the movement and the characteristics of the animals. Another very interesting animals which always interested and inspired the, uh, the artists that is horse. This noble animal have terrific quality of movement, of strength and power. So, if you have any opportunity to see a horse to the stable or anywhere, you go there and you sketch those horses. Beside that, I told you the only way to get the drawings of exotic animals is only in zoos. So, if you have any zoo near your home, you go there. In fact, 
uh, in the curriculum of art colleges that is one theme always there zoological study. The students are supposed to go to the zoo and draw and paint animals there. So, for you it, it is also a good exercise if you have the opportunity to go to the zoo, go there and draw it. And if you do not get it, then you take the help of internet and the books with lot of animal photograph on that. Now, after the surface layers of paint, he has come to the finishing stage by using the stripes of the tiger. A tiger's uh, stripes seems to be irregular, but actually it is a very regular form of stripe and you cannot always uh, count each stripe of the, on the skin of the tiger, but you get a total effect how it is on the uh, surface of the tiger skin. So, here uh, you can see the artist is using not actually seeing each of the stripe carefully, but just an overall uh, uh, form and uh, shape and the quality of the stripe on the tiger skin. Now, our artist is using a thin brush of number 2 and you note that with the same thin brush he can achieve both thin lines and very broad lines by using the pressure on the brush bristles. This stroke is very interesting. See, he is starting with very light pressure and then sometime all on a sudden he put pressure and the broadness of the stripe is clearly achieved by this technique. You try yourself also to use your brush in the same way that you start with light touch with the bristles point and then put pressure. Then with the same brush you can get thin line which turns into gradual broader line and again you use it lightly to get the end of the very fine line. I repeat again that do not go for every detail of the stripe. You just look at the tiger and get an idea and the effect of the stripe on the skin and then you turn it into your artistic Im imagination on the paper itself. Though you have a reference of, of the tiger in, in a book in a photograph here, but nonetheless you can use your own imagination when you are decorating your tiger with stripes as uh, my artist is doing it. Our artist is now in the stage of finishing the animal drawing and he is finishing with number 2 brush and with the same brush as I have explained how he is using both thin line and broad line in that. The uh, technique you can also learn easily by practicing with very thin brush and also with the same brush we can use a thick line. On the contrary you again use a very thick brush of 12 and use thin line and broad uh, line at the same time. So, this is the technique you will learn gradually after lot of sketching. To get this kind of effect you use 6 B pencil when you are sketching and in the same effect you uh, use soft pressure on the paper with the 6B pencil that will give you very middle tone and also thin line and put pressure to get dark line and thin uh, line at the same time. And the same pressure you can use in your brush. So, I repeatedly uh, suggesting the learners to use sketches. Sketch will help you to get this effect very easily as he is doing here. Now, the painting is complete and you can see the total effect of the animal drawing of a tiger and the end result is pleasing 
and also very much interesting. And I hope the learners will continue to study animals wherever they are available and if not from internet or from books and gradually make a whole piece of sketches on a particular animal in different poses and in different gesture and that will lead you to a master of painting animal figures. I hope this demonstration will inspire you and your interest will be grown with this thing and I thank you all to watch this video.